Hey everybody, Christopher Hunt here at the Colonial Ranch, and I, I wanted to post a video just to show you um, what can happen in, with turtles on the road and, and, and tell you about this little incident that just came about. So um, it's now late September. It's getting ready to be um, the first week of October is next week, um, and turtles are still out. So, you know, it's still in the 70s and 80s, uh, even though it's fall, but uh, red-eared sliders and other uh, turtles are still out. They're still moving and they're still migrating. So um, please be aware of that whenever you are, are driving, uh, keep an eye out for turtles and you know try to move them across the road if you can. I just had a lady uh, give me a call this morning, very sweet lady, um, that found a red-eared slider that was hit uh, by a truck. And so she brought it to me. So I just wanted to, to show you what's going on. It is kind of gruesome. So if you don't like um, seeing blood and all that stuff, then you know, may not want to watch this, um, but we're getting ready to take it to the vet and uh, hopefully they can they can save it and then I'll provide an update. So, so this is the poor the poor little guy. It's a red-eared slider. It's a juvenile. It looks bigger than it is. Uh, it's a juvenile. And uh, you can see where um, the back part of the carapace, which is the top shell, has been um, uh, cracked open. And you can see where it does actually cross the, the, um, the vertical, uh, excuse the, the um, the spine area basically but I did check he can it is a boy a male and he can uh, still move his back legs so that's good news um, and it doesn't quite look like at first glance that any organs are um, damaged but you never know um, so we're gonna take him to the vet and let them decide all right everybody so uh, the turtles now in the hands of the vet uh, upon examination the vet said that there's a pretty good prognosis they think that uh, it'll pull through and make it just well, but of course they haven't done a, a full thorough examination yet, but they're going to. Um, but you know, I've asked them not to uh, release him back to my care for rehabbing when they're done. So they're gonna turn it over to a different rehabber um, because I, I've got a number of other turtles that I'm rehabbing now, um, some box turtles and things like that. So I don't really have the time to take on another one, but um, I wish him the best and he's, he's in the hands now of uh, the vet. So we did our part, we got him to the vet um, and it's looking good. But remember, it's today is uh, September 27th. Um, turtles are still active. They're still out. They're still crossing the roads. In fact, some um, which have uh, recently hatched are still um, on the move as well. I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's a little uh, snapping turtle, little baby snapping turtle hatchling. It's not that old. Um, I just uh, found him crossing the road. All the other ones were hit. Um, and he was the only one left that I found. So I'm going to take him, I'm going to rear him up a little bit, get him more robust and bigger, and then I'll, I'll release him. So please keep an eye out on the roads when you're driving. If you do see a turtle, please um, safely, if you can safely, stop and move it across the road at least 30 feet in the direction that it was facing. Um, that would save its life. So um, thank you for watching. Please give this a like and subscribe. Um, and I uh, hope it helped. And watch for more. Thanks.